Hello guys, welcome you all to my channel, Making IT Simple. In the previous video we saw what is an operating system. If you have not watched it you can find it here, and also there is link in the description. In today's video we are going to see about batch operating system. It is a type of operating system which executes job in batches. So watch the complete video to understand what it is, and how it works. So without wasting any time let's start the video. Let's start with the definition. Batch operating system is an operating system which groups jobs, that perform similar type of functions. These groups are called as batch and are executed at the same time. So let's simplify the concept. In early 1950s, batch operating system got into action. At that time computer were not that developed, they had very less processing power and a very minimal memory. So at that time only one job would get executed at a time. We had to wait until the job gets executed to run the next job. We are saying execution of a job and not execution of program. So what is a job and why jobs were executed? The operating system or the computers at that time were not interactive. What do we mean by that? Let's see with an example. If you go in an ATM, the machine interacts with you it will first ask your PIN. After you enter it, it will ask for amount, then do you want the slip? You can interact with it. Basically it will take information do the processing, ask you next question or input and do processing on it. But the computers in early stages were not interactive, it would require everything all at once. So as we need to input all information at once, it was given input as a job. Job would basically consist of program, input data and control instructions. So if you had to execute a division operation on two numbers then this is how your job would look like. Program would contain the calculator program. Input data would be the two numbers on which division would be performed. And the control instruction would be division operation as we need to use the division operation from the calculator program. Control instruction specifies what or which operation from the program you need to execute. So how would you give this job as input to the operating system? The input device at that time used was punch card readers, and punch cards were storage device. Punch cards were stiff papers which could store digital data represented by presence or absence of holes in predefined positions. The light was passed through the punch cards, light would pass from the holes and get blocked where holes were not present. So from where the light would pass was considered binary 1. And from where light want pass would be considered as binary 0. So we had to input the information in machine language itself. Punch cards were punched by hands or by machine. After preparing the job users would give it to the operator. Operator was person who would operate the computer. He would collect all the jobs from the user. There was no direct interaction of user and operating system or computer. As we learned earlier the processing and memory power of the computers back then were not so good. It was tough to execute different types of jobs each time. Let's see an example. Let's say we have three jobs, two of them are same and one is different. And you execute in this sequence. The system will load all the resources required for the job, take the input do all processing and give the output. Then it will take the next job, as the new job is different it has to deallocate the resources from previous job and allocate the resources for new job, again the whole process will work. Then the last job will be executed, again as it different from the previous job, deallocation of resources and allocation of resources for a particular job will be done. Due to less memory and processing power execution time taken was too much. And allocation and deallocation of resources for each new job would also take time. Batch processing was the solution on this problem. The similar kinds of job were combined in batches. Using this technique system would allocate resources for a particular type of jobs. All jobs which are having similar requirements will execute it one by one. This would save the time for making system ready for different job each time. Then the operator would make collection of jobs having similar requirements into batches. And the batch was given input to the system where once the loading of resources was done and batch was executed. And the output was generated. This is how batch operating system works. 
There were advantages and also disadvantages of batch operating system. Advantages were. Multiple users could share the batch system. Repeated jobs are done fast in this system. Batch system can manage large repeated work easily. There were some disadvantages. Loading and unloading of batches would take a lot of time, so at that time CPU would remain idle. It was sometimes costly. So in this video we saw how was the working of early systems. We learned about batch operating system. If you have any queries or suggestion related to the topic comment down below. If you felt the video was good, like the video share with your friends. Subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for more such amazing videos.